The Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs Minister, Dr. Nkosa Zanadamini Zuma, has called for peace and unity within the Amazulu royal family. Damini Zuma, as well as the KwaZulu Natal Premier, Sikhezigalala, are visiting the Kwa Kangela Makenga and the Royal Palace in Nongoma to pay their respects after Queen Regent Manthombi Damini Zulu passed away last week. She'll be interred on Thursday and preparations are already underway. My colleague, that's ENC senior reporter, Spaman is at the palace. He joins us now. Spamandla, good afternoon and thank you very much uh, for being on the midday view this hour. Just take us through the main developments of this morning. What happened? Various delegations have visited Wakangela Mankengane Royal Palace. This is the official residence of the departed Queen Regent Wakangela Mankengane in Nongoma. Those who are not familiar with KwaZulu Natal, the palace is located between Opongolo and Wanongoma. We know that the Queen is from Eswatini, the kingdom of Eswatini, where she was the princess there before coming here to marry the late King Kutil Zulitini Kapeguzulu. Kokta Minister Dr. Nkosazana Lamini Zuma paying her respects here today. Remember, she worked very well with the departed Queen Regent here, and also Premier of Wazulu Natal, Sikhle Zigalala, visited the family. Nkanyiso Mdalose will show you now what is happening in the background. There is a prayer session underway inside that house that you see behind me. I can hear some singing and praying inside. Prince Mangosu Tubutelezi, who is the traditional prime minister of the Zulu nation, is inside there with the Zulu royal family members. On my right, which should be your left, you should see a delegation from the IFP, Inkata Freedom Party, led by their president, Velenko Sinishabisa. The speaker of the provincial legislature, Nontembego Boys, was here earlier on. All of them echoing the same sentiment that they are calling for peace, unity, and stability within the Zulu royal family. They are saying whatever issues may arise, the Zulu royal family members need to sit down and discuss and not have these public spats about issues of the throne, issues of the kingdom. And they must try and close ranks for now, basically solve whatever differences they may have and one of those people who came out strongly in emphasizing that point was Dr. Nkosazana Lemini Zuma, Kokta Minister. Let's listen to her. This kind of uh, departures of senior people sometimes create tensions but we are hoping that they will be able to go deep inside and find a way of keeping together and keeping the stability um, of the royal family. Because if the royal family is stable, the people are stable. Um, but if there is a tension, then it might spill out outside the royal family. So we are pleading with them to get into their inner strength and really um, go through this period as the royal family. Um, nobody is perfect, but uh, let them try. We, we, we're praying for them, and we are hoping and wishing for them that they be able to stay together and whatever needs to be ironed out, they iron it out within the family and keep the stability of the royal family. Keep the stability of the family, the royal family, whatever they need to iron out, they must iron out. But for now, this week, it's about laying the departed Queen Regent to rest on Thursday. What next should we expect uh, in terms of preparations, Pamanda, ahead of Thursday? The remains of the departed Queen Regent will be arrived here at Wakangela Mankenga and the Royal Palace. I'm trying to check what is happening in the background. We expect that the traditional Prime Minister of the Zulu Nation, Prince Mangosutu Mtelezi, will leave the house now. But on Wednesday, we expect that the remains of the departed Queen Regent will come to Wakangela Mankenga and the Palace, and the family will have an opportunity then to have a small gathering. And then at the crack of dawn, she 
her remains will be interred here at Kwakangela Mankengane. Those were he those were her wishes rather that will be done at night in a private burial ceremony. Only senior members of the royal family will be present there. And then on Thursday there will be a gathering of the family of course. By Friday we are expecting that there will be an official memorial or funeral service. Premier of Guazulu Natal Sikhizikalula telling us that on Friday they expect that they would have heard from the national government. In fact, by today, let me correct that, Guazulu Natal Premier Sikhizikalula saying by the end of business today, they expect to have received a formal response from the national government regarding their application that the departed Queen Regent be granted the special official provincial funeral so that in principle he says they agree that it should happen and that will be on friday okay now there is this ongoing issue about the cause of her death a lot of speculation what's the latest you can tell our viewers here on the media view on enc about the sentiment uh, within the royal family about this ongoing speculation about what caused her death Indeed, I can tell you that that speculation there, as Nkanyi Somjalose will show you some of the people living there, the palace, I think those are religious leaders who were leading that prayer session there. Inside, I can see Prince Mangosu Tubutele, the traditional prime minister of the Zulu nation there, bidding them farewell, basically, as the IFP delegation is about to enter the palace to pay their respects. That speculation about the cause of death will continue for a very long time to come. Let me tell you why. Simply because she was left with a throne. When it comes to the will of the departed king, the successor was Queen Mantuombe. There was an expectation that she is the one who was going to appoint a candidate to take over the throne. Hence, the name of Prince Misuzulu, her firstborn son, comes into mind. Many people were speculating that her son was going to take over. Add that into the mix now. There were reports about her being poisoned years ago. Those reports emanate from what her late husband, the king, said in 2017, in December, when he was commemorating his coronation. He said at the time, that is the late king, that Umtaninko, meaning Queen Mantombi, is not here with us today because she had been poisoned. That's why she could not attend. And the queen had to go to Eswatini to be taken care of. But from 2016 up until now, she's been unwell. So what is adding to that speculation are these is renewed and resurfacing reports about the issue of poisoning. But on Saturday, I interviewed Prince Mangosu Tubutelezi and I asked the question about the issue of poisoning. And he said to me, they are waiting for the, obtos, for the autopsy and then they would know after that they are waiting for the post-mortem results to tell them what was the cause of that. But that can only be known in two weeks' time from now. So as we speak, there is no clear official confirmation about the cause of death. But that speculation about poisoning emanates from what the king said in 2017. And since that time, the queen has been unwell.